Ahoy! This is Sean from K38. We're going to go over a video in one of our Swiftwater Rescue classes on the American River where we're practicing how to hook up into a tow. What you'll see here is that the approach is really critical. You want to approach at a slow speed, so at idle or drifting speed in terms of what the speed of the current is. Your point of contact is really important. You don't want to make a wake coming in to move the boat out of your red zone, which is the area that you make your point of contact with. You also want to have your tow line pre-rigged. It must be a very sturdy and strong line that is properly inspected using the appropriate carabiners. What we do is we hook into the front bow eye loop on the front of the dead boat and you'll see that you want to identify your contact in your helm maneuvering to come towards the bow of the dead boat so that you're thinking about how the current will move the two of you away. So I've made hand contact right here and what I'm doing right now is I'm talking to the student and explaining to them what I'm going to do and I'm sitting side saddle in the gunnel. The other approach is to do a Johnny B maneuver and work directly off the stern of your boat or off the side of your rescue board. Now that I have the line secure, I'm going to make sure that they remove their engine cutoff switch. They're in a sitting position. I'm going to let the current carry the boat down. I don't want to snap the tow line. I don't want to put excessive force on that. I just want to let the weight load bear to separate the two using the tow line. I'm going to do a ferry angle over towards the shore being mindful that if I apply too much throttle, I might even sink the boat or throw jet thrust over the bow. I am then going to make contact with the shore coming in at idle speed. I'm going to get off shore side. I'm going to turn the bow of my boat quickly, shut it off, go off the stern into the water, keep the two boats separated by securing the tow line and then I'm going to demonstrate as if I were in some pretty heavy current that I would load the line between the two boats, fold them into one another, get down low to the ground, and secure the boats. Imagine, that's roughly 2,000 pounds of boat adrift. And then that would be the end of the drill. Then we'd go back into the drill by clearing out the jet pump.